I've been here since October 3rd. Wow. Yeah, I work on the media team down here at Occupy LA. Well, you must be generating a lot of footage. Tremendous amounts of footage. So does it all go up on the web? Do you do you pick, do you edit? Well, Are you, you making... Know, one of our biggest issues here is our lack of resources. Oh, so so we're, cool. this, yeah. is, this is a gold mine of information, a gold mine, I mean, this is history in the making here. But it's a shame because we don't have the resources to really be making the best use out of it. So, I mean, I have gigabytes and gigabytes of footage, but to have the editors and the people with the computers and the technology to be making the most out of it and getting it out there, it's been really challenging and really hard. Um, you know, like all the people that shoot us from the outside here and come get an outside view and then tell the stories of what they, you know, they spin all these funky stories. I mean, those are multi-million dollar News Corp agencies. We work on a budget of donations and what people bring and stuff, so it's like been really challenging. Well, right now, we would pretty much just get clips and upload it to YouTube and upload it to our website and stuff like that. Um, ideally, I'd like to have our full media tent set up where we have dedicated editing studio um, hubs where we can have people that can be dedicated operators there. So I'm a cameraman, so I go out and catch all this stuff. But right now I'm having to operate in like 10 different roles and I gotta finance it all out of my own pocket and all that kind of stuff. It'd be nice to have, you know, film editors dedicated, camera people dedicated, people that upload it to the internet and get it out there dedicated. And so that I can do my job, I can get out here and film, hand it off to the next guy who does his job and hands it off to the next guy who does his job. But right now, we don't have the resources to support that. It's interesting. I, I'm, been, I'm studying documentary film this semester at Cal State Northridge, and what you're doing sounds, funny enough, kind of like what Soviet documentarians were doing in the 1920s, where they were wearing you know, many, many hats. Uh, and even in the World War II, they were uh, getting shot with their cameras in their hand, and then the next, kid, the next guy would pick up the camera, the guy who just got shot. Um, <laughs> That, that's how it felt like on November 17th, our National Day of Action, as we had three quarters of the LAPD, you know, tactical team surrounding us. I don't know if you saw footage from that, but I thought it was a little bit atrocious the amount of resources and manpower they put into a peaceful protest where it was simple acts of civil disobedience. And I mean, it was shocking, but I felt like that being surrounded by people. I'm switching out memory cards as fast as I can, man. I don't, don't want to get <laughs> tackled down here and have this great footage and have them steal my camera or something. <laughs> it was quite an interesting scene and I got great footage from it, but I'm still trying to process it and edit it and it's hard to keep up. What we're doing here is we're creating jobs and it would be nice to have the support from the outside community that thought that what we're doing here is important and it's making a difference to actually contribute resources that we are creating jobs so we can pay people to do stuff. I work usually on average, you know, 16 to 20 hours a day. Now, I've, yeah. I've barely been able to speak for the last four days. Stop, I've been sick. Is it hard to do interviews when you have to speak above a crowd and your voice is going? Well. Yeah, definitely, and, and in the General Assembly too, because I mean, it's like, it's challenging. But, you know, that's the, the importance of what we're doing here is so important. That's how people work around here. I mean, we're like superhumans. You know, now, Occupy people. LA has a has a budget that's written on a board in the, in the front of the park. Does Has anyone in a committee, have they suggested that this might be work that's worth supporting with some of that budget? <laughs> yeah, we do get some support from that, but there's been issues with um, enough funds coming in and distribution mechanisms to get it out. These clips that you're getting, are you able to cut them at all or are you putting them up raw? Usually for me personally to do editing, my computer doesn't do very well. I need to get a Macintosh, but I'm on PC. You know, it's not very good for editing. So um, luckily there's a gentleman that supports the movement and it's got a film editing studio over in Santa Monica. So I usually go off site when I have to do stuff, but it's hard because I only go over there maybe, maybe once or twice a week and I like to be doing it instantaneously. Are you able to get an audience for the pieces that you cut? Oh, definitely. We have our, our regular audience through our YouTube channel, youtube.com backslash Occupy LA Media.
and you found quite a few hits, people are interested in, in yeah. paying attention. Yeah. As someone who's in the middle of the story, filming it all, are there moments where you see a larger narrative coming out, where you see, hey, wait a minute, there's a big project here, there's a, there's a feature-length film in here, or a series in here? Most definitely. This, I mean, it's a shame that we don't have <clears throat> more support of our professionals down here working hand-in-hand -hand with us.